Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm just gonna go over how to add a bit of shine to your mix using Ozone 5. Uh, something I didn't touch on is of course the reverb. Now, um, what I'm gonna show you, uh, generally for dance music you don't want to drown anything in reverb, uh, like the whole mix anyway. Uh, maybe just a simple lead you'd want to drown out or something. Uh, but there's a way to add to the mix uh, using reverb and it's pretty cool so you're gonna select reverb you're gonna go solo wet right and you're gonna pick a nice healthy reverb now wait you're gonna make sure that you don't have that turned on there we go so you're listening to just the wet signal Right, and each uh, reverb mode has its own character, so a room is very small and bright. And that could work out quite well. Uh, theater also is more mid rangey probably wouldn't use that. Plate is huge. Um, so what I'm, what I'm really getting at, so say I'll use room, and I'll bring it down to where I can barely kind of hear it. I want a better example. Yeah, it's very bright. It's a very bright uh, sound. So what I'll do is I'll just unselect that. All right, so you mix in a bit of uh, master reverb to add a bit more kind of sheen to it, and I'll turn it on and off, and you can hear what it sounds like. Right, and that is, is that, and that is a nice kind of prerequisite to add more stereo wideness. Um, so uh, I guess we will go to imaging, um, using um, the reverb, stereo imaging, and midside uh, EQing. You can add quite a bit of wideness, and it sounds natural. It doesn't sound unnatural, like just using uh, a simple uh, midside EQ. Uh, you're using multiple things at once to uh, create that, and that's always a good thing. Right, you can really hear that reverb. We'll go. Yep, we'll add some more width. We'll always find a nice little compromise. Right, so with reverb, stereo imaging, and our post EQ, uh, with side mode enabled, uh, we can add a bit more brightness. Right, we're adding a little bit too much, but you know you get the gist of it. Now this is just an example. Um, again, uh, instead of when you're processing audio, you don't use like just a mass amount of one type of processing. You use small amounts, but then a lot, right? So then you don't run into the risk of like over processing, um, and everything kind of accumulates to create something that sounds uh, exciting. Right, this, is, this is a trance sound, so it's very bright, and you want it to be kind of bright and to have a, a lot of stereo uh, energy. Um, you know, you don't have to use this on uh, the mastering bus. You can use this on the lead to create the, the same effect, um, but yeah, that's basically, I don't know what to call this, uh, cooking? I don't know, I'll figure out something. All right, uh, take care.